Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In today's video, we are going to see how to raycast in Unity. Raycast is like a laser beam in Unity, just invisible. Now raycast is mostly used in FPS where the bullet actually doesn't travel. So they raycast to a particular distance and see if, if the ray actually hits something. And if it hits something, then they spawn the bullet in that point so that the damage is created. So rather than spawning multiple bullet game objects, you can use Raycast to directly see if it has hit something. Now there are multiple options in Raycast, like you can control the length of the Raycast. And it is always advised to have a finite length Raycast because Raycast is very performance expensive. The second option is you can actually bypass a layer. That is, you if you don't want to hit some particular objects in, in a particular layer, then you can use a layer mask to ignore that layer. So in this video, we'll be seeing first how to raycast to a finite distance, and then we'll see how to mask a layer. So in my scene, I have two cubes, a friend cube and an enemy cube. And here, uh, you, as you can see, here's my camera, and I'll be raycasting in the forward direction. And if you see it from the game view, I can only see one cube because it is one cube is behind, uh, the enemy cube is behind the friend cube. So initially we'll raycast from the camera uh, to a distance of 10 points and we'll see which is getting hit. Subsequently, we'll ignore the friend layer. So I've created a new layer called friend and I'll put add the fr friend cube to the friend layer and we'll see whether we are able to hit the enemy cube. So let's get started. We'll add a new script to our main camera and we'll call it raycasting. So the script is added now. Let's go and click on edit script. Then here's a script. So we'll be raycasting in the update function. So generally you should raycast based on uh, based on a condition. Mouse is clicked or space bar is pressed. If you raycast without a condition, then your game will start lagging because of the multiple raycasts that is happening. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to put any condition. I'll just check if uh, in the update, we have to first create a raycast hit variable, raycast hit, and let's call it hit. Then we'll check if physics dot raycast the bracket. Uh, you have to give the position from your uh, from where you're going to raycast it so we are going to raycast from the camera so it's transform dot position then transform dot direction transform direction bracket vector 3 dot forward so that means we are going to uh, raycast in the forward direction and we'll be giving out it then we'll give the max distance that is 10 units so basically if this raycast hits something then it will return true so we'll debug dot log uh, raycast basically hits a collider so you'll be getting the collider so we'll have to go for hit dot game object hit dot collider dot game object so this way we'll be able to get the name of the object that we have hit. So let's save the script. Uh, we don't need these two. So we'll delete that, save it again and go to Unity. So my camera is at, at 0, 0, minus 5. My friend is at 0, 0, 0, that is 5 units away. Enemy is 7 units away. So now if I recast, I should hit the friend. So you can see here the friend object is getting hit. So now I want to bypass the friend and hit the enemy game object. So to do that, you have to put the friend in a layer that you are going to ignore. So I am going to put it in the friend layer. And you can see that it is number 6. So I have to create a layer mask. And it will be of type integer. Layer mask. Which is equal to. You have to left shift one with the layer serial number. 
since we are going to ignore that layer we have to invert it so it will be layer mask equal to invert layer mask and then pass it to our raycast now let's save the script go to the game play the game there you go now we are hitting the enemy cube we are bypassing the friend and hitting the enemy cube so this is the basics of raycast in unity so you can use it as you require in your game but remember that it is very performance expensive so raycast only based on a condition like mouse click or spacebar and avoid doing multiple raycast in a single frame See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.